All right, guys, welcome back. This is part two of a part two series. Um, for this, for this here dress towel topper, um, in part one, I sh ooh, I t I showed you how to uh, <laughs> make this um, really pretty. Um, I guess the top of the dress. So if you haven't seen that, um, definitely go check that out first, obviously. Um, this, for those of you that don't know and you're clicking on part two, um, and you don't really know what this is, it's basically those, um, really cool triangle, like, have you seen those vintage towels that have the little triangle, like, knitted pattern, crochet, it's usually crocheted pattern on the top with, like, that little, you know, one of these little loops around it and you see them in the kitchen and bathrooms um usually in kitchens though but that's basically what this is but obviously this is a dress version which i personally prefer and i've had many compliments on them and also if you're going to sell something like this um i think you get i think people are more likely to buy these in my opinion um because they're different and i think they're better <laughs> Um, you can sell them for more, is what I'm saying. Um, especially with the quality yarn you use, really makes a difference with these. So I do apologize, I just painted my nails. Um, so they're not, like, they're dry, but you know that feeling when they're still kind of like, they will snag if I, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean. So. Anyway, let's start, let's just get into, um, apparently I have to, oh yeah, I never hid these, so, um, I'll do that later. But basically, part two is going to show you how to connect these two together, the top piece to the towel. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this, but I found that the best way is to leave the picture alone as best as you can. Now, there are some towels that have a pattern all over the whole thing. In that case, it doesn't really matter. You can unfold the towel and, you know, fold it in half. There's usually on the back side, there's a pattern as well that matches the front. You can cinch it together you know, where this is here, and you kind of cinch it together like that. I used to do my towels this way. There's nothing really wrong with it, but if you have a picture like this, and it hangs, and you scrunch it together, you can't really read what it says, and I've had a lot of people complain about that, so you're welcome. I am going to teach you a better way that will allow everyone to see the picture and literally all we have to do is how did this how did this go the first time I probably shouldn't have unfolded it we're literally just gonna keep it the way that it was when you buy it when it's like folded into threes literally not even gonna unfold it or anything like that now if you want to um, if you don't want to use the whole towel you can actually because there was a back side to this you can actually cut the towel in half and still fold it this way and make two towels out of one. Um, I just don't think that there is good quality when you do that, uh, mainly because you can see some frays up here when you cut it, and the towels are a little thinner and people will be able to tell. But that's up to you. Um, obviously you'd sell them for less because you're getting two out of one towel, so it is a good technique to use, um, but I just like to use one altogether. So what we're gonna need, um, all I use, is one of my yarn needles but I use a small one okay so <laughs> I have quite a bit here I use these small ones so like they're still yarn needles but they're slightly smaller if that makes sense so get yourself one of those and uh, that's what we're gonna be using to I guess whip stitch um, our dress onto the dress top or onto the towel. Then what I do is take the, um, I guess the accent color, which is this, in this case it's the yellow, it's the color that you're trying to pull out, you know, not the basic white, but the color that you're trying to pull out of the project, 
and pretty much whatever you ended on right here is the color you're going to use. So that's why I have yellow here. And I'm basically just going to take a strand that I wish I had a size measurement for you, but I don't. Um, so I'm going to cut a piece and then maybe I'll kind of show you or tell you kind of how long it is. So Does that make sense? <laughs> Can you kind of eyeball how much you need? Here, I'll show you the length, maybe like, so it's one towel length, two towel lengths, about three towel lengths. There you go. Obviously this is going to be way more than what you end up needing, but it's always better to overshoot than to undershoot. What we're going to do is spend the next 10 minutes trying to shove the yarn up that tiny um, eye there of the, you know, that actually took less time than I thought it would. And I don't know if this is going to make some of you cringe, but I just kind of like tie it very loosely at the end, just because it makes me really mad when it, you know pulls through. Um, then on the other side here, we're just going to tie a knot. We'll do a double knot just to be safe. Why is this not focusing? I had the same problem in part one. It must be the lighting and like the fact that I'm filming on my bed. But yeah, so just a double knot on one side and then poke the yarn through on the other side. Okay, so that's all we're going to do to prep for getting this on there. So now, I am praying that I don't get nail polish on this towel. Um, what you do is, I guess just to kind of explain real quick, because we fold it in threes, there's three lines, right? But if you take the two in the back and kind of open it up like that, it's kind of like a circle. And what's also a circle is this, right? So if it makes sense, when you sew this on, this front part here is going to get sewn on to this front part here. This is going to be the side of the dress. It's going to come around to the back. Obviously, you're going to have to whip stitch both of these together. And make sure it's flat because you want your picture to be front and center. If it's slightly off center, you'll be able to tell. So you're going to come around the back of the dress, you know, whip stitching this part here along the back side. Like that. Come around the side here and then back to the front. So that's how we're going to attach it. Um, so what I do to start is I take my yarn and needle and on the inside I just pick kind of toward the end. I start over here, work my way around back over here. So I start in the left and you're kind of going to want to like, it's not that far down but it's not too close to the end. So I just pull that through all the way through up until that knot. And that's going to be on the inside, so we don't have to, like, do anything with that. It's not going to go anywhere. That's why I say it's good to double knot, just in case it pulls through. And then I'll take, you know, it's going to match up over here on the front side, because that's where we poked through the towel. So I'm going to go in and pick this one right here and just pull it through. Okay, so we've kind of attached the piece. It's going to be really hard to film this. Um, you're just going to have to bear with me. And it's probably better just to like listen to what I'm saying instead of watch <laughs> at this point. Um, what we're going to do next is go in, like this is the, the front of the towel. We're going to go in. And I would keep your stitches the same 
length apart as they are on the crocheted piece. We're going to go up through here, up through that next stitch on the crochet piece. But before you pull through, we're going to whip stitch. So we're going to go back in there, under, and pull. And it helps if you have previous experience with like those whip stitches, but that's basically what we're going to be doing all the way around. So I'm just going to do the front side here and kind of show you what that looks like, and we'll go from there. Okay, I just wanted to point something out real quick. Um, I got a few of these stitches done, and I just wanted to point out, as you approach the center, like... If I were to cut this towel down the middle, it should match up to the middle of the crochet piece. And that might take some practice to like, you know, muscle memory eventually will kind of tell you how far apart to go on the towel. And it is bunching a little bit, obviously, because this piece is slightly shorter than the towel's width. So obviously it's going to be cinched to that. But I just wanted to point that out, that make sure you're lining it up with the center. Alright, so here I am, I just um, whip stitched all along the front side. And um, I found it easier to do that with these currently unfolded. Um, so that's why it's like that. But now that we're going on to the back side, because we have this open here. Um, and this is the back of the towel, that's when we can, you know, they're going to get folded together. So they're going to get, the towels are going to get sewn together, and it's going to be along this edge, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go do that, and then I'll show you how to finish off when we get over here. Alright, I just got to the other, so here's the back side. I just did all this here and I'm doing my last one kind of where I started. Just going to whip stitch that one together. Okay, just kind of give it a quick look, make sure it looks good. Looks good to me, except for this. I have to fix that. Um, but yeah. So, at the end here, what I do... What do I do? I haven't made one of these in quite a while. Um, you see how much extra we have left. So it's always good to overshoot and to undershoot. I'm just gonna... Those are really big scissors, by the way. I'm so sorry for that. We're not, they seriously take up the whole frame. <laughs> So I'm just going to get this out of there. Um, you don't have to tie it on, I just I do that because it gets annoying if I don't. So what we're going to do here, make sure it's pulled nice and tight with your last stitch. And then I'm just going to tie it in a knot, so I just kind of folded it over on itself like that. and. Tie in a knot, maybe even a double knot, just to be secure. And then, if you remember, on when we first started, if I turn this inside out, when we first started, we had this little guy in there. So what we're going to do is pull this with a crochet hook through the other side. And we're going to tie those two together. So I'm going to take my crochet hook, kind of like hold this open with my hand, and go in where this is coming out of. Obviously not through the towel itself, but kind of pick a stitch, um, like maybe this one here. I'm just going to poke it up through there and see where we're at. And just pull this through. And there's lots of different ways to, you know, secure this. If you don't want to do it this way, you have a better way, go for it. But this is what I'm going to do. Now that they're both next to each other here, where they both, um, one started and one ended, 
We're just going to tie them off together to a double knot. So we all know I like my double knots. <laughs> and that way we don't have to like hide them because they're inside the piece itself. So I'm just going to trim them a little shorter. That was a really loud snap. Snip. Okay, and we're basically finished. Um, just kind of see what we got going here. And there you go. If we look down the inside here, just unbutton this real quick. You can see that it goes all the way down through the towel. So I suppose this is an actual dress if you have like a doll or something. But there you have it. I'm gonna just hide these strands in there and go put this on my um, like the bar of the oven in my kitchen and we should be all set to go so that is it with this pattern I thank you guys so much for watching if you're not already subscribed please be sure to do so and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a video because we all know that is just a wacky schedule um, I do have some more ideas coming up for you guys and I'm also doing two craft shows um, this season so I'm going to try to push out some content for that, um, so make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you think this is cute, I really like this. I just really like this whole idea. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I haven't made one in a while, but there's a chemistry when I make it again. I'm like, oh, like that's why I got into making these. It's probably one of my favorite things to make, so I hope you guys liked it just as much as I did. Um, if anything in this tutorial was confusing, please post your comments below. I'm pretty active on here with answering you guys, so if you have any questions, post them below, and I will see you guys in my next video.